guys i'm back with another video and today i wanted to show you guys how to make an easy booking website off of your phone um i'm first gonna just show you guys the app that i'm currently using and it's really easy to use there's a few bugs but i personally really like the website it's super easy to use as i said before and it's also only 15 dollars a month and this is the app right here that i use i tried to use this app once but i was kind of confused um, so I never really got too much into that, but this is the one that works for me and I'm just going to get right into it. So today I'm going to be switching back and forth between the website and the app only because the website has more features for some reason. Like there's just certain things you cannot access on the app. Um, right here is my calendar. As you can see, I believe it came with a little, yeah, here it is. When you download the app, it automatically comes with a little a little Jane Doe test or whatever, Jane McTest, whatever. Um, and it's just showing you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when someone books an appointment. And I know you guys can't fully see it because my phone is covering it. But I wanted to be able to show you guys how to make a website because it was a highly, highly, highly requested video. And I'm also screen recording this off of my phone. So this is raw and uncut Tajane, and I'm gonna try to edit this as much as I can so you guys can understand everything. As I was saying, I'm first gonna start off with my availability. That's what I'm first gonna start off with. Manage account, um, yeah, that, that's really just your business name, username. It's always gonna take you back to the homepage, by the way. Clients is just a list of all of your clients, all of your clients, from A to Z. And it also shows you their appointments, their previous appointments, and upcoming appointments. But back to our start. So I'm gonna start off with our availability. So you guys can see that I have Sunday closed off. And if you guys wanna close the day, all you have to do is backspace. And you are done. In order to add a day, you'll add on your time like the examples on their page. So you could add in your availability like this. You could do a, I work from nine o'clock a.m. to four o'clock p.m. This is not how I do my, me personally, this is not what I like to do, but I'm gonna show you guys what both look like later on down the line. So I'm also, I don't work on Tuesdays, and right here, once again, I have a 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m., and this is how I do my appointments. So, normally, my appointments start at 9 o'clock a.m. My next appointment will be at 12 o'clock p.m., and my last appointment is going to be at 3 o'clock p.m. And now I have three appointments every Wednesday, and they're going to be the same every Wednesday until I change it or I'm no longer available. And that's how these are as well. And on my website, when we get to that point, I'm also going to show you what it, this looks like, too. It's the same thing as before. I'm just going to put I work from 12 o'clock p.m. to, let's say, 9 o'clock p.m. So now I have my availability, and these will now be my regular hours. So this is what it's going to look like on my website, and my regular hours have been saved. So next, I'm going to go to my appointment type. So this is very important. These will be all of the services that you offer. Right now, I don't have any. So I'm going to first go to new service. So the name of the service is going to be extra freestyle. And you guys can see that you could add a longer description. And I'm going to keep it short and simple for this video so it's not too long. And my description is just going to be, you have no control over the set because in real life during my freestyles I don't allow my clients to really pick too much because it's a freestyle and if they do have requests of course I take them under consideration but all of my clients and even my new clients know that when I do a freestyle I like to just do a freestyle like I take their recommendations and you know their likes and dislikes under consideration but for the most part it's a freestyle so you have no control over the set Normally, a freestyle takes me about two hours, and my medium simple freestyle starts at $70. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a picture from my photo gallery. 
And these, of course, are nails that I did. So here is my first appointment type. Once it loads. And now I'm gonna make another appointment type just in case anybody didn't understand. So I'm gonna go on ahead and make a new appointment type just to show you guys on my time. So I'm gonna click new type of service and this time it is going to be a simple freestyle. I'm about to put simple, simple. No! I'm so sorry guys, I'm typing so fast. A uh, simple freestyle. And you can add the long description, no control, keep it short. Of course, this is not gonna be a real website. And normally it takes me just about the same amount of time. So I'm gonna do another two hours and I'm gonna say it starts at, let's say $65. Now we are allowed to pick categories since we have more than one appointment type. And right here, I'm just going to type in freestyle. And I'm gonna add this freestyle type as well as the extra freestyle type to show you guys what it looks like when it's under a category. And I'm just gonna go and add the same picture from last time. I miss you guys. I haven't been posting as much on Instagram as much. And I know I missed last week's video, but I do apologize. And I'm definitely gonna try to make it up this week. I did record some orange nails that I did today. So you guys may get an extra watch me work video this week as well. So be on the lookout just in case. So now you guys can see that my simple freestyle is under the category of freestyle. So I'm just gonna go back and edit this. And I'm gonna now add this style, well, the service under this category as well. So I'm not creating a new one. I'm just gonna add it to the last one. And now they will both be, uh -uh. now they will both be under this category. I'm just gonna update the appointment type and now you can see that both of my services are now under freestyles. So now I'm going to go to my add-ons and click add new add-on. So these are things like length or crystal, diamonds, just extra things that you allow your clients to add on to their services. Um, so calls are also another example as well. So I'm gonna, yeah, that's a great one. The name of this add-on will be Soak Off. I personally don't offer Soak Off as a service, but this is, of course, for this video and an example. So I'm gonna say Soak Off are normally about $10 and they're about 30 minutes. And I'm gonna add it on to both services. So if I was only doing Soak Offs for simple freestyles for whatever reason, I would only click simple freestyles. And I'm also gonna add another add-on just as another example so you guys can understand, and this add-on will be Pixie Crystals. Just do that. Pixie Crystals, I'm just gonna put $5. Time doesn't matter, because it's included pretty much in the freestyle, I guess you could say. And I'm only gonna do this for my extra freestyle. Of course, once again, this is only an example. This is not really how like mine is set up. But I'm actually going to show you guys how mine is set up right now. I think it'll be a great time. And this is my booking website. I'm just going to slowly scroll down for you guys. I'm also going to put the link in the description box below if you guys would like to see my booking website. Or if you're in Georgia and you would like to book with me. So you guys can see I have my policies and rules in different colors. I have a lot of bright colors just to make sure people really read because people don't read. And here I have my guidelines, and I'm also gonna show you guys how I added the picture onto my website as well. And here's what I'm showing you guys right now. So I have a basic set, and it starts at $45, and when I click onto the service, here are all of my add-ons. I actually let my clients add on their link to their service, and if they decide to change it when they get there, then that's okay as well. So I'm now going back onto my website, and now, I have my availability, which is set, and the days and the times that I'm working. And I also have my appointment types. So now we're gonna just switch over to the website, and I'm gonna go to appearance. So I'm gonna go home, 
now I am on the home screen on the website and I'm gonna go down to customize appearance um appearance and this will be how you make your website look pretty so you have to upgrade um to a payment plan in order to even allow people to book by the way it is $15 a month I'm not sure if I said that before but I'm just gonna put my uh, I'm not gonna put mine I'm gonna put a random name I'm gonna put So right here is where I'm going to put all of my rules and regulations and you guys can see the different features. So I'm first going to highlight my words in red and next I'm going to just center my text in the middle. So I'm going to center it back in the middle for whatever reason it went back. Um, I actually, I'm going to make the background well to highlight white again and actually make my words right now so I'm gonna center it back into the middle and I'm just gonna put read read before booking Boom. so you also can make your words different sizes so you guys can see that it got bigger and I'm so sorry about the keyboard I think it's gonna keep popping up but right here, you guys can just keep making it bigger and bigger. And now it's huge. So right here, you could add a image. I'm gonna drop a file right here. The picture should be there now, and I believe I, wait. What? I don't know where my words went, and I don't know why the picture is so big. But normally, if the picture is coming out kind of large, you have to just go back and edit the picture on your photo gallery. And add some words once again and just show you guys a couple of things. So here is my bold, well, here is my bold italics and underlining. Um, I'm not really too concerned about any of that at all right now, but I'm going to put these words in red. I believe I, yeah, in red. And I'm just going to once again read. I really hope this video helps you guys. I really do. I struggled personally trying to figure out how everything works. So regular time zone, of course. And here you guys could just pick the color. I believe this is the color of your buttons. And yeah, it's the color of the buttons. As you can see right there, it is blue. I'm going to close the preview. And it also allows you to see the preview at a bigger angle, like an actual website. And also, as I'm scrolling down, I told you guys, you could change the buttons and you could change the font as well. I believe I use, if I'm not, too mis if I'm not mistaken, I use this font. I'm going to change the buttons and the colors to purple. And you have to upgrade. Um, you have to upgrade in order to change the background and other little stuff. So I'm now going to show you guys how to do that. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys as I was saying on my personal website. So I'm just going to go ahead and log out of this one very quickly. But I'm lastly just going to show you what the website looks like live. Meaning what it actually looks like. So right now you guys could see the extra freestyle and I'm going to click it. And now I have my times, which is 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. And I believe I was going to show you guys the different times I had on different days. Oh, yeah. See how this works? Remember when I told you guys I put 12 p.m. through, a, I believe I put 12 p.m. through 9 p.m. It's popping up every two hours because the service is only going to take me two hours to do. So they have a 12 p.m., a 2 p.m., a 4 p.m., and that's because I put my availability time 9 o'clock. I mean, I'm so sorry, guys. 12 o'clock p.m. between 9 o'clock p.m. And if you guys don't remember what I am talking about exactly, I'm going to go right back to it real quick before I show you guys my personal website once again. So I'm going back to my availability, my calendars, yeah, who cares. Um, and remember I put 12 o'clock p.m. through 9 o'clock p.m. So 
So that's why the times are showing up like that. So lastly, I believe I told you guys, I am going to show you guys some more features when you're customizing your appearance. So I'm just gonna log out of the website real quick. So once again, I am on appearance and I'm just gonna scroll all the way down and I did pay for the app so I have more features and I am able to change my background, my header text, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm just gonna show you guys, for example, if I change my background to let's say purple and I save my changes and I'm just gonna go right back to my website and refresh it. And now it is purple. So I'm just going to change that back because I'm not too much of a fan of that color on my site, of course. And this is just for the video. So you guys could also make your clients pay a deposit, which I highly recommend, as I said in a video before. So I'm just going to go down to payment settings and I'm going to go right to, of course, I'm in the US, so US dollars. And I'm only going to accept PayPal and I accept a $15 deposit. I do not allow my clients to pay in full I hate that like because if you decide to cancel your appointment I feel obligated to give you back all of your money which you should so I don't allow my clients to pay in full I'm just not too much of a fan of that and of course the money that's coming from the website is going to go straight to my PayPal so I'm just going to turn this back off because I know not that I no longer require a deposit. I no longer require a deposit off of PayPal because, of course, not everybody has PayPal. And I now use Cash App. I'm going to also show you guys how I do that as well. So now I'm in email settings and I'm going to go to initial confirmation. So this is the email that your clients will get right after they book with you. So I always tell my clients after you book, check your email. And it's even on my website as a little girl. Sorry about that. So right here will be their first and last name, what appointment they're getting, what time, and where. So right here you guys can see that I say it's in the screenshot of this page and deposit payment for address. I do this because I'm no longer using PayPal for deposits because the app was messing up one time. I'm not too sure if they got, I'm so sorry. I'm not too sure if they got that fixed, but now my clients are allowed to book on my website without paying a deposit and they just have to cash up it to me and send me a screenshot of both so I know who you are. So that's where you do that. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's really important for me to show you. Um, some of these things I've never actually looked through so I'm only telling you guys what I use. Of course, I try to find the easiest way to do things so I could find the easiest way to show you guys how to do things. So. I believe that is all and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys also have any questions about any of the features that I did not show in my video please be sure to ask me any questions but all the features I use in this video are the main important like the mainly important ones anything that I did not show in this video I had no use for um, which you guys might so just be sure to go back and, um, you know, look through anything that I didn't go over unless you guys just want to ask me because I don't mind that neither. But as I said before, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Nailed by the Barbie. And if you guys would like to see more videos every week, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.